Hi everyone, Skyden's over here. Welcome to the Spirit Vlogs again. Right now, I want to talk about what's happening recently with the new events that we have that's happening, especially on the 8th of October. No, April. I mean, that April on 8th April related with the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse is actually talking about uh, new cycles that happening with the whole world, the whole solar system especially with the earth itself and it's gonna have affected towards the whole people actually including me uh it's been like wonderful <laughs> through the process go going into the solar eclipse and it is wonderful actually towards what's happening in with my life because i'm reaching out into the very pinnacles of my life and the high vibration and the high vibrations of my life even though this is like a, just a beginning for me because it's gonna become a, a new beginning for everyone even though i'm in the high vibrations right now it doesn't mean like i don't have any problem all right i do have a problem with my life and i think it's also for everyone too that's out there all right either you are on the low vibration or in the high vibrations because these new cycles will affect those both sides actually but right now for me i'm in the high vibrations but but by that itself it's actually i have a problem too with my life i do i do there's the shadow work will never stop everyone's but it's just like i can embrace that i can take that in the well in the good way and i can process that calmly and wisely and decide in a good way and critical thinking too because critical thinking is part of it it just happened today actually for me all right and I have somehow i can decide something much better than before in my old version of me and i can face and embrace and face face it with full full brave and full of good decision you know like a good thinking and then much more calm and much more take my time to what should i do with my life and i think this is gonna apply for everyone that's who you are that's watching me right now in here out there because i just want to share what's my thoughts what's what's i experienced after the solar eclipse and how this energy of new cycles which is like really big actually through the whole years i think it will until the end of the the end of the years like in the previous video you can check over here too that's i'm actually talking before the solar eclipse it's more towards between the full moon and the solar eclipse i'm talking about that but now in this video i just want to talk about the solar eclipse itself what happened what will happen to all of us and how it's gonna affecting us and how it's gonna uh affect certain people in your own personal journey in your own personal process and yeah, because everyone have different pace, different process, different experience, and different journey and adventure, you know, and the way that they want to live in, and the way that they want to keep marching forward to the futures and to the the best version of you. Everyone have different ways because I was opening some cards over here in front of me. It's talking about step, you know, and it's actually a new, a new beginning for you to step another whole chapter. And no, it's another whole volume, actually, not chapter. Uh, because it's a totally new, new cycle. That's what happened, actually. So, what's gonna happen then with the new cycles that is actually really big energy that's gonna you experience and what i am experienced too because i'm gonna share some of my experience too but towards what the solar eclipse over here um the solar eclipse that i send is like really big it's really but also calm in, the, in that sense it's not that really bad you know it's big but it's in the way of soothing and calm but also fluctuative I don't know if you guys understand what I mean over here because that's what I've been experienced lately. It's 
it doesn't have any problem. It has a problem. I have my dawn time too. I have my dark side too. But somehow, I can deal with the dark of myself. You know, and I think this is gonna happen with everyone. Maybe because I'm in the high vibrations, that's what happened to me. Because it, it will effect effects toward those both sides with the high vibrations and the low vibrations that I'm talking about before. The low vibrations will have facing this kind of like a great challenge, a trial. But once you've passed that trial, it will be so great for you. And it will be heavy, it will be rough. So I might suggest like people need to think about it in the way like it's a tough love from the universe or the gods or whatever that you believe in or deities or angels, you know. Whichever that you want to like you are praying with or you are looking or role model with with the high vibration because at the end at the end of it it will come back into high vibrations into coming back into the high energy as long as you are more looking forward into the high energy than you i think that's still fine and because i'm not gonna talk about the religion at the top of here because it's not even though yes it's gonna touching over there but it's talking about spirituality but I'm, I'm gonna much focus on the spirituality over here and and yeah how it's gonna be effect towards all of you with the low vibrations the high vibrations the low vibration we would think that's like exactly like i'm gonna say like you're gonna face this like some problem from the past that's gonna come into your life that you've been holding on that you've been containing or maybe you've been buried and now it comes out and revealed and then coming back again or maybe you're facing some new events but the same pattern the same pattern with your past because these low vibration people will be like you know it's they're kind of like stuck in their area right this is for all of you that's still in the low vibration it's fine is you're not alone all right it's not alone you can do this uh actually the high vibration people actually is kind of like it's like supporting you like come on it's okay you can do this i because we've been through that low vibration too it's not like we never been through the low vibration no we ever goes into that low vibration but maybe we kind of like our liver and we kind of like doing our homework well our self development well because it's it depends on the person actually because for me it's much more concentrate on myself and i'm kind of like uh, you can say like i'm kind of like self-centered but not excited like like that person right it's more like i'm much focused on myself first rather than before the other people that's how i always do so i was thinking about myself first before i help other people or before i support them Although sometimes I, I also do like kind of want to please people, but it always taking a toll with my body. It's always taking a toll with myself and my emotion too. And yeah, so this kind of like those what happen with low vibrations. The low vibration will facing this in the really rough and really hard way. And yeah, uh, and. And then what happened for those people that's not gonna survive from this, or maybe they cannot, uh, how's it like, passing through the trials and the tests, the exams, or whatever that you call it, it's kind of like exams actually, and you cannot pass through that, well, it's gonna repeat again and again and again, but every time that it repeats, it's getting harder and harder, because usually you cannot like rejecting or denial for it, denial for what's going on with your life. That's what happened with the low vibration because the low vibration people will have struggles in denial, in the ego, um, emotion because they're scared, they fear, they anxiety, you know, and insecure because I have insecurity too. I understand that. So it's so acceptable. I didn't realize like actually, I didn't realize that actually I have insecurity, but I do worry a lot. And apparently, it was insecurity of myself that is actually, huh? actually it was insecurity so it was so that's make me realize how it's so subtle you 
you know like maybe some people of you is kind of like not realizing that you actually insecure with yourself too or maybe you realizing it but you didn't know like how deep it is and how subtle it is sometimes you think like ah, i'm already done I'm, i'm done with this insecurity but it's still there you know like 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 it's subtle but you didn't know it you didn't realizing it but it's okay as long as you are always looking into the higher vibrations they will help you not only human rights it's not a high vibration it's not always talking about human there's some people are human that in the high vibration but there's some another being to that is in the high vibration and then you can look upon to them it's like kind of like you learning from senior and learning from teacher you know actually when you are praising praying with another entity that's ha- much higher than you is actually you kind of like asking some some kind of like a knowledge or teach or lessons from them you know it's kind of like you are asking a teacher that's what happened actually it's kind of like a teaching te- teacher and a student that's going on it's always be like that though when it's come to this spirituality mm, now that i'm realizing that it's gonna be that way the partner is gonna be that way and yeah and in that sense never stop please in the low low vibration people please never stop to learn to study and to accept and be open towards new thing new, even though how it works it feels like to you sometimes what you feel in that zone it's worse because you are in that zone of low vibration that's why you took everything's really really bad way and really worse and really oh like a hell you know actually it's understandable because you are in that in the perspective but once you passing through that and then enter into the high vibrations you will look at it like huh, it's actually it's supposed to be not that big you know like like it's not supposed to be that dramatic you know because when you are in the high vibrations and once you're facing this kind of same situation in when you are in the low vibration because it will it will come though it's still gonna happen with your life even though you are in the high vibration in the same pattern but because you are in the high vibration and then you much more wiser because it's not gonna be far from there when you are high vibration you are gonna be much more wiser and much more brave and tough and loving and unconditional love too and and organized too and much more confident with yourself once you do you are enter in that energy that frequency you will face the same thing when you are in the low vibrations in the different way and somehow it's much more lighter or not as dramatic as before you just take it in the silent way and then you just think about it and what should i do and then you're using all the reference that you experience and you have experience before and also what did you hear from other people and what did you learn from your spirit guides your guardians or your angels or your your deities or the universe of the gods right? sometimes they also give you a clue for you to support you to keep marching forward talking about this you cannot do this alone by the way you please for the low vibration asking from the higher energy to help you because you cannot do this alone when you are in that low vibration you need someone in your life and especially we are humans we cannot part from community commune tough conversations talking support from other people from other being higher being they will always want to help you all right especially god especially the universe always all right because it's part of their unconditional love it's that it's it's natural you know for them to be supportive with you but you need to be a step towards what they doing believe like it has purpose why they need to why you need to go through that and for those high vibration people they will gonna you're gonna face this energy this big energy in the good way and they, and you will know how to solve it 
uh, you don't need to worry it will be amazing for you for for your high vibrations and for the low vibration you it will be amazing but you need to open and your perspective your mind and the high vibrations will how's like can face the the problem the matters and also all the negative things that coming at you at your life in a good way and you can turn that into lights uh, I tend to see right now like I know how to do it I know how to feel it to turn this negative feeling and negative emotions or like anxiety, insecurity, and worriness but comes out into the light so it's has like you're squeezing out all of that and become something good into become something light so you can like discard all the negative and you just took whatever that's coming in together with that negative feeling of you and emotion that you have and mind to thoughts think that's how the high vibrations they will face this they will go through the low vibration too just like we are like ups and downs with our uh, our energy like we one day we are in the low vibrations and one day we are on the high vibrations but somehow we always know how to come back into the high we know how to climb back to climb back into where we belong where we supposed to be at and yeah it will be great for all of you and it will be great for the high vibrations and for everyone too and it will reach out for your abundance for your own abundance in your life which is it will be amazing for each of you because it's been amazing lately for me uh, that's what happened to me in this exactly on that solar eclipse day that solar eclipse was like for me it's much more towards sexuality <laughs> and um, engagement relationships it's been wonderful actually <laughs> so yeah and and then I'm, I'm really grateful towards what happened to me though even though it's kind of a platonic for me but it's it's wonderful you know it's wonderful it's, i never experienced it that way but somehow it's always it's so so good and so great and yeah and then also transformative too it's kind of like a good way but also rough and also transformation transfer transformative it's kind of like you are comes out from your like in that moment that on 8 april for me and it will come marching forward and for the high vibrations it's not the end yet i'm telling you it's not the end and the low vibration too is not the end yet all right it will keep coming but it will get getting better the transformation right now is just the beginning the new cycle is just the beginning everyone put that quote new new cycle which means it's just the beginning once you are entering the new cycle which means it takes time for it to marching forwards to keep going so yeah it's the first step because i got the ancient because i'm opening card right now i got this this is like an ancient card he's talking about every step that you take it's actually uh needs to have a meaningful is for those people that's in this area all right this new beginning this new things that's happening with you with your life it's actually more for myself and for other ones and it's, you need to do it step by step it cannot uh as like it's too soon or too hasty no there's a time it's gonna be fast forward like really fast and speeding up and there's a time that you need to slow down so in that sense you need to be flexible over here this is for everyone that's in the low vibration and the high vibrations in your situation and yeah and it will be, it will be great if you can handle this if you can pass through this all right oh, i just want to talk about that low vibration a little bit if you have failed 
again and again and again, you will not survive. Alright, so I know this gonna be a bit scary, but yeah, that's a bit dark actually. Uh, it's much better you open up, please. Just take a note for that. Kind of like a note that I forgot to want want to mention before we enter into the, be the new beginning and this new beginning chapter that we're gonna talk about because these things about the new beginnings is for everyone to keep marching forward and if you cannot process and you cannot uh, took the step that is necessary for you you're gonna left behind from the world because the whole world and the universe needs to, to keep move on and maybe you will stop in that low vibrations through the whole of your uh, life basically so um, I'm asking you to like please be open and please open your heart at least open not you don't need to do something because the new the new beginning is actually new for you just like sometimes you need to realize that that's actually new it feels like because you keep sticking into the old version of you the old ways the old habit the old things and the old mindset and the old uh, perspective the old concept there yeah take your time and be silent if you want because the new beginning is actually telling you to like a baby step baby step and take your time take take the step that is necessary for you as long as you keep marching no matter how small it is this is for everyone not only for the low vibration and the high vibration too but i guess you will get to for the high vibrations people you will get able to step the the baby step in the fast way you know because you know how to solve it oh i need to do i need to take the step okay and then do it and then oh i need to do that next oh, i need to do that next in a matter of hours or days you know because that's what's been happening with my life because it keep coming every day towards <laughs> towards the transformative uh, moment that i'm sensing with my life right now and it keep going and keep going and keep going it keep going i take step another step another step and another step it's actually not fast actually it's for me it's actually i'm taking my time uh it's slow but somehow how of lights it's flowing you know it's not stopping so it's slow but it keep continue actually i'm a slow grower everyone and if, if you feel like I'm fast, no, I'm not. I'm slow grower. And I don't know, this is for people that's knowing me in, in the behind, right? In the, that's watching me right now. If you feel like I'm fast, no, I'm a slow grower. Uh, right now, I'm 29. And yeah, I'm still in this area for me to, like a, like a youngster, to dealing with the world and then a lot of experiments with my body, with my looks, my face, my interaction, my relationships with people, with new people, and then how I engage them, how I make friendships. Still kind of young there, but somehow I, I'm doing it in the wise way. I'm doing it in the mature way because I'm ready for it, for for me to be strong and then facing whatever that's gonna come with, through the relationships and the engagement the conversations the networking and yeah it's gonna connect into your essence this new beginning this new cycle not only for me but not but also for everyone because sometimes uh when you see something that's actually big like you saw someone like wow that person is so amazing you know like that person is so good how can you do that? I mean, like, are you got privilege or something like that? No, I don't think they. Maybe they got privilege, but they will. De de they deserve it because of their past, which means they still have process rights before they go arrive in that moment. So that's why they got, you know, privilege because it's this privilege is has 
uh, karma for that person and it's process you know it's process uh, it's process that is happening before that you didn't know sometimes you see something big it's actually it takes one step in the beginning just like you didn't see the process in the behind you just saw the result already there is this result that, that that is so big in front of you but actually it takes years it takes decades 20 years 50 years for it to be processed in the behind like you don't know what's the process in the behind so that's why it's telling you like it's okay and now if you're still in the baby step if you're still in the first step it's fine Right, because that's how exactly the new beginning, the new cycles, that's what happened. It's for you, actually. For all of you that is actually still in the beginning. Because I'm still in the beginning too, with my own versions. Because right now, for me, I'm still in the beginning of my career, my thoughts, my my life paths, my goal, my dream. For me to realize it, about my wealth, about projects, business, you know. My happiness is still new beginning for me. It's a new chapter for me too. New volume actually, not chapter. Chap- the chapter of before of the previous volume for me is already done, and then I need to open another new book, totally blank from the whole book. So I create something new inside of it with the new energy, the new me, the new versions of me that is still talking about me. It's gonna affect towards your essence. It's gonna touch your essence. So whatever that you feel, please feel that not everything is always about logic. Not everything is always logical. Just feel it, and if it makes sense for you, even though you not quite understand the whole thing, let it be. All right. Sometimes you cannot, like you cannot comprehend and understand logically, like concrete and solid, in one day or in one hours. It takes time for you to process everything because sometimes the information can be overwhelmed and can be too much. So what you can do is like little by little put that aside. You got the information that is so many and sometimes it's going to be overwhelmed and then all you need to do is like take a breath. Okay, I need to take a breath and let me process little by little because that's how I always do like patient towards what's that what's you facing in front of you and yeah because the spirituality will form something for you in the spirituality because even though you didn't believe in the spirituality it will happen still in your life it's no matter how your logic yes or how logical you are but i understand that you don't you're not quite believe because there's some people like kind of logic thinking in that way but it still happened though no matter how you reject that and no matter how you deny about it it will happen towards your life because it will it will not far from there because sometimes not everything can be explained uh, with logical way sometimes it's beyond because we are still human by the way our first perspective is still so small compared into the universe even the solar system is not, maybe the planet is not. The planet is not, is really big compared to what's in our brain and what's in our eyes and what we can see. You know, what we can see right now is only horizons, but you don't know behind it. And even though maybe, ah, I know the other part of what, I know what's going on over there. Well, because you know it, you know, not because you see it directly. You know, because of the today age that is full of fast and fast speed of information especially this is even you watching me like this is because you know the fast technology that you have and yeah so I also want to talk like how it's gonna affect on myself and also my, and how it's gonna be this is like I said before it will effects towards my wealth, my business, my projects, and that effects is really a beginning for me. Although, yeah, it's still kind of beginning for me, I'm still new, 
even me creating that content is still new so wish me luck everyone because I'm trying to build it up and try to share what's up, what, what's my thoughts, what's my spirituality because I'm gonna pour in, I'm gonna make this place, make these channels to pour all the things that I'm learning that's what I got through my intuitions, my visions, my mind and what's my thoughts and what's my opinion too and I hope you guys can take this well and take this my perspective and my uh, predictions kind of because I'm kind of like talking about what's gonna happen later in the future because it will affect the whole years and also want to talk that uh, it will differently you don't need to be like it's not necessary only for those people in this month I hope you got what I mean because it will affect for those people in the, in the different months not everyone is gonna having the same transform transformative like me in this month it could be like later after april like june augustus september november but what i'm sensing like, like it's gonna goes on with this energy of solar eclipse until the end of the years and for me it would affect my projects my business my wealth and my life purpose my goals my dream towards and manifestations and it's the new beginning for me in these years after the solar eclipse for me to create uh, abundance uh, something that is useful and functioning for everyone including myself too and yeah a new beginning for me everyone is the same for me too for advancing myself my career my business my my world so yeah, in the conclusions, it will, be, it will be great for everyone. Please don't scared by it. Or, or if you heard something in the news of people talking about badly about this solar eclipse, that's just the the downside, alright? Because everything that is happening in our life, there's always two sides. There's a dark sides. There's a there's a light sides. The downside, the bad one. Usually, it's just something that you need to discard. That's why it needs to be happen that way. It needs to be in the worst way, in the bad way. You need to discard that because it's not gonna working. But the light sides, the best sides, the highest vibration sides, good sides, is actually advancing you into a better version of yourself. It's kind of like, are you ready? Your vessels, you down out there that's watching me right now and that i'm talking to you deep down are you ready for the new energy the new cycles that's the question and for you to be to be ready for that you need to let go to your old versions your old being and your old energy your old habits mindsets and comes out become the new you like much more tougher much more brave, much more confidence, much more high self-esteem, you know, and solid with yourself because a new energy and it's like if the contain or the cups cannot hold the liquid inside of it, it will leaking everywhere because it's fragile or cannot hold whatever that's this big, you know, big energy that's coming to you. So your body will clashing and breaking or crumble down break down you know your mind your, your mind body and soul so that's why you need to go through that low vibration for you to often yourself up basically that's what will happen to all of you and for those for those are high vibrationals you will get the better and better with yourself leave a comment leave a like leave a subscribe don't forget to subscribe to me everyone thank you so much for listening to me listening to me until the end and this video uh for me to talk what i thought what's what's my experience and i hope you can pick something good up from here towards my story or it's what my experience Don't forget to check my shop. I also accepting for a packet link in the description, everyone. 